Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an organic white loaf. Very simple easy recipe. If you've been here before you'll know exactly where to find your recipe down in the description and also while you're down there you'll find numbers of playlists for your entertainment and also if you're down there if you want to subscribe and share. Anyway we'll get right on with the video. <music> And for your recipe, 906 grams of organic flour. This is shipped in mill flour, by the way. 600 grams of water, 14 grams of salt, seven grams of organic bread improver, seven grams of sugar. Now that's an optional. If you want to add sugar or not, that's up to you. 28 grams of baker's yeast. You can use dried yeast if you like but you'll have to check the recipe for the dried yeast yourself because sometimes the dried yeast varies between manufacturers. And also if you want to add seven grams of fat. And before we start mixing the recipe, the most important thing to remember guys is the temperatures of everything. An optimal temperature is room temperature, which is around about between 17 to 20 Celsius. That is just almost a spot on temperature. If you get everything at that temperature, you're almost on the money. Now we've got our flour and ingredients into the bowl. Always keep your yeast away from the salt because if the salt touches the yeast, it will kill it. And then we just add in our water. And we'll get it going. We're now going to be mixing this for around about 10 minutes. Now halfway through, we're going to be stopping the machine and just checking it to make sure the consistency is just right. Right, the dough has had its first five minutes, so we'll have a quick look at it and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's okay. So that now wants another five minutes and it's ready. Right, dough's ready. We'll get it onto the table. Well, I've molded up the dough, we've covered it, and now we're gonna leave it there for around about 45 minutes, give or take. I'm gonna look at it after 30 minutes, just in case it's ready. The dough's been resting long enough now, so we'll just scale it off. Oh, that just feels lovely. And we'll be gonna scale this off at one pound loaves, or for you in new money, 400 grams. And if you've got any dough over, you could turn it into something else or just add it into the next bread mix. And then we just rest these just for a few minutes. It just gives the dough time to recover just before molding up. And now we're ready to get our tins ready for the dough. This is your bread tins. Now I've already pre-sprayed them with prep spray. You can get this from my eBay store. The link is in the description below the video. And now all we're gonna do is mold these up round. And once again, if you see another video of mine, we start by using that side of your hand on the table. So you're sort of going like this and that's all you need to be doing. Once again. When you're molding up, try not to have a table like I've got, which rolls around on its own. Try to get a solid surface, and it does make it a lot easier. There you go. Once again. All we're doing is basically pushing the air out of it. Now, all we need to do now is roll them out like this. Okay. Every straightforward tin loaves, you put them this way. So the smooth top up. Now for a sandwich tin, you put the rough side up. When you've got your in your tins, all you do is get this part of the hand 
and just push down on tops. Now we've got our bread into our tins and into our proving box. We want to be proving these at a temperature of around about 25 Celsius. Now tin bread usually takes around about one hour to prove. Now sandwich tins takes around about 45 minutes to prove because they don't want to be as high as the tin loaf. Small tins ready. I've put a little slit across the top of them. So basically they're like a little split tin or you can have them as a raised top. Anyway, we'll get them into the oven. Now we'll be baking the tins for around about 30 minutes. The oven temperature is 230 Celsius. I'm just gonna be baking them on the deck. The small tins are ready, we'll get them out. Oh, they look very nice. Well, there you go, guys. There's your white organic small tin. And that ain't a bad loaf. You know, I'm not advertising Shipton Mill by a long shot, but this is their flour. And if you know any other flour companies that you've been using, let me know who they are. I'll get in contact with them, getting some flour sent down and I'll have a go, see what it comes out like. See if I can turn out a nice loaf like this. You know, you never know until you've actually used someone else's flour. At the moment, I've used about 10 different types of flour, but I'm always keen to try something new completely. But there you go, guys. Don't forget your recipe is below the video in the description. And also while you're down there, you'll find numbers of playlists, including more recipes. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters.